Hi, welcome to another edition of Gear Gadgets and Gizmos Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at the Daymac EM1 electric scooter. Let's get started. Hi, and welcome to another edition of Gear Gadgets and Gizmos Review. And today we've got the uh, Daymac EM1 scooter. Looks more like a crotch rocket, but it's a scooter. I actually don't know that much about it. It was a, I have a bed and breakfast and a guest brought this by, and so I'm checking this out. And this thing has uh, a 500 watt motor on it, a 72 volt battery. Uh, it has a range of 55 kilometers this thing can go uh, so it's got a good little range uh, it has hydraulic disc brakes uh, digital speedometer uh, it has nice big bright LED lights to light things up those are pretty substantial lights I was trying it out last night uh, it takes about six to eight hours to charge this guy up and uh, and it can be used for fun or as just a nice classy scooter to get around town. And the nice part about this thing too is that if you notice that seat, there's a pretty substantial seat so you can get uh, you can get two people on this thing quite easily. And uh, it is a heavy bike though. It definitely is a heavy bike. So if you've got to scoot it around, it is, you can treat it like a motorbike. Um, and, but and it goes top speed of about 32 kilometers an hour so and it is still street legal but i have a feeling in the next few years they're going to be doing some changes in some parts uh because uh some of these are kind of pushing pushing the edge of a motorbike and electric bike but for now this is a, a nice e-bike that uh you can drive on the street without license insurance or anything so this thing is a rear hub motor And the chain is pretty small in there as you see over here 12 volts power outlet now the tire size on this uh, this puppy is a uh, 130 by 70 and uh, maximum load that this thing can take is 300 pounds so if you're a 170 pound guy and you got a 125 pound girlfriend this will work out nicely, but I imagine that 300 pounds is being pushed a little bit in a lot of circumstances. It has an alarm system, which is very important, uh, so you can set this up uh, with an alarm system, you know, which prevents it, to help, hopefully, from getting stolen, because that is a big problem with these kind of things. People sure like to steal them. All right, so let's turn this on. Hopefully that glare, because I was trying it this morning, get in there, you can see. Try to cover that glare up. You can see a little bit. We've got a nice, nice display. All the bars up here indicating. Imagine these blink when you use the signals. Um, you also are, you can program this with through Bluetooth, and you can set some of the parameters in it for uh, different settings for for performance. I'm not quite sure how that works, but uh, you can do a little uh, fudging around with the software. Uh, through Bluetooth on this to make it tweak it to the way you'd like uh, depending on the type of riding you're doing and what have you and like I said I don't really know that much about that at this point uh, it's all made out of plastic solid plastic and uh, very stylish and you see you got uh, your nice lights here and they're actually so if they do get hit they don't they look flat fragile but they're not and then you got your nice tires in the front with the uh, this color is really nice. A little dirty here yet, but look at that, really nice. I like this, uh, I like the color combo. And then look at that, this end here, this studded kind of, kind of set up here. That's a really nice thing. I'm not sure, I've seen a guy actually take the, paint these flat black, and I think they probably would be nicer black than this clear thing that kind of has a, a cheap look to it, I think. I think it would be better black. And then I've heard grumblings about these mirrors that they do a little rattling. 
and that there's some aftermarket ones for a few bucks uh, that are, are better than these ones here if you want to replace them but these come with it uh, let's open up this pouch here and see what's in there let's get that open oh yeah so you got in there oh, you got in there there's a not sure what this is but there's a switch here and uh, in the uh, description I'm gonna find out what that is and uh, you're gonna see it come across the screen because right now I don't know what the hell that is uh, so you got that and you got your controls, your horn. Let's turn it on here, that horn. Turned on. Nope, not turned on. There we go. Now she's turned on. And now let's hear the horn. Oh, that's the horn. And then the lights over here. And uh, again, not so sure what these here are. Oh, that's for lights. This is a kill, power kill. No, you see how it's got a lock oh. right here so that if someone were to steal it on you, mm -hmm. um, they can't maneuver around with it, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's locked here, the steering. Oh, okay. So how did you lock that out? It just locks out automatically? Oh, my gosh. Um, see, the, there's a little icon there for the lock. Oh, okay. That should be engaged again now, see? Perfect. You can do it this way. Alter alternately, you can go like this. Which is even more tricky for someone to steal. See? Yeah, no, that's great because they that's... only turn left and they're not going to get very far. There's the front and back lights for signaling, so you have actual signal lights too, right on the back here. These are great for in traffic, and it's always nice to let people know what you're doing. Where some e-bikes don't have that, and that's a nice feature on this thing. Um, the horn, there's a nice horn on it, a single tone horn, and there's nice uh, pegs for. Uh, for passengers back here, you see, you got yourself some pegs and the pedals are on here and those are on there more for legal purposes is that you have to have pedals on it or uh, it would have to require registration and all the other red tape. Uh, I have heard, seen another video of a guy taking the pedals off and putting them in the little compartment above here, that is right in here, but uh, I heard arguments that you're not allowed to do that either, so you can find out if you want to push that uh, take and getting rid of those pedals, because in fact, to actually pedal this thing is wouldn't be the nicest thing. They're there more for regulations than anything. So there you have it, just a kind of a brief overview of the Daymac uh, EM1. Uh, it's a little different scooter uh, than your typical uh, scooter out there. Uh, like I said before, uh, it's pushing the actual motorbike uh, kind of uh, uh, definition of, a, of an e-bike. Uh, I think in years to come they, they may start getting faster and then there's going to be a grey area and, and bikes like these will be the thing that makes us have to register uh, bikes uh, and things and get into the red tape. But for now, this thing is a really great bike. Uh, it comes in at around $2,000, uh, which isn't too bad if you compare it to some other different e-bikes and things on the market. Uh, it could pay for itself quite easily in a couple of years if you factor in uh, getting rid of a car uh, in your family or something. In fact, a friend of mine has bought recently an e-bike and he's been saving $50 a week in gas money. So if you add up 50 bucks a week, depending on how long you drive the bike through the year, uh, you can substantially uh, save you some money and, and pay for itself. And it's a, it's a whole lot of fun. Um, compared to an e-bike, uh, it's, it's not as convenient uh, because it has the minimal uh, 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 pedaling here and that, which isn't really, like I said earlier, it's just more for regulations than actually doing it. It wouldn't be a nice thing. Uh, but if you if you you like your scooters, uh, uh, this thing here I think will uh, will it's it's a quality made bike with Japanese parts at a reasonable price. And from what I see from it here, uh, it's it's not a bad bike at all. So it's worth considering. Uh, so I hope this video has helped you. Uh, please like and subscribe. Come back often and uh, and uh, look at some more of my videos. We're going to be doing more of them on e-bikes and other different products. And if you have any suggestions or, or comments, please uh, like and comment below. And until next time, we'll talk to you later from Gear Gadgets and Gizmos.